I know we talk a lot nowadays about rules, fashion rules to break. Like nobody cares if you wear white after Labor Day. Mixing gold and silver jewelry is beautiful. Um, you don't have to match your shoes to your belt to your purse if you don't want to. There's a lot of rules that are just very outdated, but I have a few spring style rules that I tend to follow and they could change, but they're just kind of rules or um, guidelines I have for myself. Just general rules I have right now that I feel like can help me dress a little bit better. So I'm gonna share some of them with you. You don't have to live by these rules if you don't want to, but they might help you as well. So the first one is going to be first because um, I might suffocate if I don't. One of the rules I have for myself that I will look at in the spring is, am I showing a little bit of skin? Am I showing enough skin? Usually people are like, am I showing too much skin? Well, I'm asking, am I showing enough? Right now, I feel like I'm not showing enough. I'm not into this look at all, and I feel like I might suffocate. So let's fix that, okay? Okay, well, this is way better. Now, I'm showing a little bit of my neck. I don't feel like I'm gonna choke anymore. And um, so, you know, I just, I, if I'm wearing a button down, I want to have my chest exposed a little bit. The other thing I like to do with a button down is I like to roll up my sleeves. There's two ways I like to do it. One of them, maybe you can just cuff it. My mom does this, um, but you just cuff it just a little bit like so. And then of course the other way is to actually roll up your sleeves which we have talked about this in some other video, but you basically cut it in half, roll it halfway up, and then you roll it up one more time so that the little cuff part, just a little bit of cuff is sticking out. Okay, so that feels much better to me. Maybe I should call this video spring style hacks. It might be called that. I'm not sure yet, so we'll figure all that out some other time. Anyway, um, showing a little bit of skin, especially with button downs, I want like a little, little neck exposed. I want my arms exposed. You know, if I'm wearing a longer sleeve shirt in the spring, which I do a lot of times, because a lot of times indoors, the air conditioning is like blowing like crazy. Um, I like to just push my sleeve up a little bit. That way I can show off my watch or my accessories. And I just feel like it gives a more relaxed look. I like the, I just love that look a lot more than everything being super covered up. That, and I usually like my outfits better whenever I have things a little bit more undone or relaxed. If I'm wearing a shorter hemline, like a short mini skirt or a shorter dress, and the weather calls for a jacket, which it has lately, it's been a little chilly, then I'm gonna go for a longer jacket. I just feel like it looks better to have a longer jacket over that shorter dress than a shorter jacket over the shorter dress. In the past, I definitely would have gone for that shorter jacket, but there's just something that looks too choppy to me. It's like it's chopping me off in too many places. So I feel like a longer jacket, like a trench coat, can look very elegant and classy with that shorter dress than a cropped or just you know waist length jacket. I've mentioned this next rule in several videos, but it's worth mentioning again because it is a style rule or style hack, whatever I'm gonna call this video, um, <laughs> and that it should definitely be focused on. You should for sure focus on this, put your focus on this, play around in your clothes, and try to get this to where you get the feel of it. It takes practice. What the heck is it, Anna? It's to play around with your proportions and balance your outfit. The outfit on the left is fine, but it's all tight and feels uninteresting and a little bit dated. On the right, I've balanced the tighter top with a more relaxed bottom, and I like the contrast here a lot more. Well, there is contrast, whereas the other one, there really isn't. With the mini skirt, I like to balance it with something more voluminous up top. When I'm wearing shorter shorts like these, which I will be wearing a lot in the coming months, I like to balance it out as long as I can with something more voluminous up top, like a button down. Eventually it does get too hot to even wear that. And then I go for something more like this with a pleated tailored short and a tank top because that's all I can stand to wear. It gets so humid. This also goes into playing around with your proportions. Like for me, I'm very top heavy. I carry all of my weight up top. And so usually what I wanna do is I like to have something a little more relaxed up top and then I can do a little fitted on the bottom. And for me, that gives me the look that I want most of the time. People carry a lot of their weight on their bottom half and they don't really carry it so much on their top half. I feel like they look amazing in these like tighter fitting tops and then like a loose fit or like a wide leg bottom. But again, you definitely have to play around with your own proportions, play around in your clothes and see what works for you. 
Now, I don't personally dress for my shape 100% of the time, but if I'm not dressing for my shape, there has to be something else about that outfit or that look that I'm really into. Like, I really love the pattern, or I really love the colors, or I just really love the style or something. So it's not a hard and fast rule, and I wouldn't want anyone to stick to it 100% of the time, but it's a great place to start. The other part of this to think about, another rule that I have or something that I think about is I like to define my waist, even if I have to bring my waist up a little bit, but I like to create kind of that hourglass figure whenever I can. And so that usually means that I'm gonna tuck in my shirt or I'm gonna belt something or I'm gonna do a front tuck or you know a side tuck, something like that so that I'm not just a big old box. Another spring style roll or style hack, whatever I decide to call this, um, is I now, I used to not do this and I don't know why I didn't, but I never really would pay attention to how exactly my shoes coordinated with my outfit. And you're like, why in the world would you, wouldn't you do that? But I would just kind of go a couple steps into it, but not go all the way. For example, here I have this basic dress with a stripe, which I feel like is very casual and classic. And I would just put it with some nude sandals like these and be done with it. But even though these sandals go with the dress in the way of color, I feel like they don't fit this dress's vibe and they look out of place in this outfit. Instead, I like going with the same color, but a much more minimal shoe. And I feel like this looks more balanced and intentional. Like I don't think I need a heavy shoe for this dress. I don't think either one of these are necessarily good or bad. I just feel like the more minimal shoe makes me happier with my outfit. And so <laughs> that's the whole goal. On the footwear subject, black, as I've mentioned in several videos, it, it definitely becomes part of your outfit. And I love black. And I think black looks great in a lot of situations. I wear black shoes when I want them to be the focal point in my outfit. This is actually what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> it's Saturday and I've been running errands with my toddler and I learn my lesson every time about taking a toddler to a grocery store. Anyway, I like my black sandals here because the rest of my outfit is super basic and I feel like I have some semblance of an outfit on me even though I'm very casual and my toddler literally just drooled on me. For this outfit, black is way too heavy and takes over. I love my nude footwear here and the focal point goes towards my outfit instead of my shoes when I wear the nude shoes. With the black, it just kind of takes over. However, if I change my belt to black, then I feel like my outfit looks intentionally black and white and for me personally, I really like this look. Here's an outfit where I like my black shoes. I feel like the dark green and black balance each other out and I want the black shoes to be part of this whole outfit. And then here's another outfit where the black is just way too heavy for this look. It's very light and the shoes are just very dark. It brings your eye down. Whereas with the nude shoes, I could put any nude shoes here. It brings your eye up. Another rule for spring and summer um, or style hack is that I usually make sure my white items, if I'm gonna buy a white item, I will try on the size above it. I wanna make sure it's more loose fit. I wanna make sure it's a little bit more loose than I would if it was in some kind of color or even ivory. White is absolutely beautiful and I love white, I love wearing white, but it definitely shows, um, it can show lots of things. And it can also tend to be a little bit see-through sometimes, which is fine, but I don't want it to be really tight on me and a little bit sheer. Like a pair of linen pants, it's really hard to get those opaque unless you line them all the way through, which I don't really want. I'm gonna make sure that those pants are more loose fit. So it looks more relaxed. It doesn't look like I'm squeezing myself in. It just, I feel like it looks a lot better when white is a little bit more relaxed or oversized. If I need to get dressed in a hurry, and I got five minutes. I want to look cute. I want to look like I actually am wearing an outfit. I didn't just throw myself together. I almost always, especially in the hotter, warmer months, go for monochrome. It is so easy. It's one of those things you have to get your head wrapped around, but once you realize how easy it is and how good it can look with very minimal effort, it is just something you will always have in the back of your head to do. I love monochrome outfits in the summertime because I can't wear a lot of clothing. I'm kind of restricted. And so wearing something monochrome makes it look a little more put together and like a, you know, intentional outfit, even though I'm not wearing a lot of clothes. Now, if I'm going shopping or I'm shopping online or I'm trying on clothes, now my previous self, if I looked good in the item, it wouldn't have mattered what all I would have to do to get to that point. I would probably go ahead and buy it. But now my rule is if I find an item 
and I love it and it looks beautiful on me, but I have to do all the things in order to get it that way. Like I have to wear um, boob tape in a skinny day and uh, always stand up straight and I can't really sit down or it's uncomfortable or something. I'm not gonna buy it. <laughs> I'm just not gonna buy it because I know that I will probably wear it once and then it will be so uncomfortable and annoying that I will never wear it again. So my rule is to make sure that anything I buy, it has to look good, or at least I think it looks good. I feel beautiful in it, or I feel comfortable in it. It feels good on me um, in order for me to buy it. That eliminates a whole bunch of stuff that I could, I would normally buy that I don't buy anymore. So those are my spring style rules or spring style hacks. Not sure what I'm gonna call that yet. I'll figure that out. Um, whichever title you're seeing, uh, hopefully it fits this video. <laughs> I hope you got some good ideas from this video or anything you haven't thought about, or maybe um, you also want to make it a rule in your life. These are just things that I do. It doesn't necessarily mean if you don't do this, you're gonna like look some out of style way or something, or, or it won't look good. But these are just things that work for me and my life. And hopefully this was helpful to you as well. And let me know what you think as always and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, and consider subscribing if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.